ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನಚೋದಯಾಂಧ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಸ್ವತುದೇವ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಅಚೀವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ well let us think a little bit about this very interesting process achieving enlightenment experiencing getting that uh highest spiritual self realization and of course we're going to speak about many many you know tricky and a funny ideas about enlightenment and i'm sure that can be very very useful to know to remember about all that mental intellectual tricks which we have on the way well our social life our society our culture they teach us from the very beginning that more is good more you have more successful you are when you are really really baby like 4 5 years old okay if you have more toys that's cool if you have more toys than um, okay neighboring baby then you are really feel much <laughs> much better more toys is better and the rest of our life actually we approach we see the situation exactly in such a way more toys is cool when you come to the college or university okay more degree is better you cool if you have more diploma more degree more knowledge more information better marks better results then you come to the office or maybe you come to them okay whatever business you start like your private or maybe you work in a big company for the big company okay more good um okay uh, sales more whatever you able to manage for the company then okay then you get more money for sure that's you know, that's the the main question so I, i mean more stuff bigger car better car more expensive car bigger house more food that's animal stuff actually animal nature more food <clears throat> then we come to the field of spirituality it should doesn't matter what kind of tradition you practice okay i myself practice kriya yoga meditation i was learning kriya yoga from my guru yogi rama for years and i'm just not only practice but teach kriya yoga meditation and the bija mantra tradition that's yeah okay there are many traditional authentic kinds of meditation and also we have a lot of you know new age modern kinds of meditation which are also nice in a sense but just they created by somebody recently that's okay okay that's that's your choice what kind of spiritual tradition school or way of meditation you practice if you practice but even if you are not practicing now i'm sure you are planning to start well but our approach our logic is the same mostly the same i mean when we start to practice meditation or any spiritual tradition we we start to think okay the more stuff more toys is huge that's cool we are more successful as the okay students in the college as the, as the managers business people you know politicians more is better when you come to spirituality 
you, you, you start to think that more is better, but that's, that's the problem. Okay, you learn more mantras, you learn more techniques of meditation, you learn, okay, you, you, you read more books and you start to know more about all that philosophical teachings. You visit more ashrams. You, okay, participate in a greater number of workshops, retreats, seminar, master classes. Then you start to experience something unusual, some bliss, peace, light, all kinds of mystical experiences. And the more experiences you have, okay, more successful you are as the spiritual practitioner. That's the logic. But you know, this logic is absolutely wrong because that's the social approach. And spirituality is actually totally different. Actually, spirituality, meditation, is when you're losing everything. Sound pretty awful. Oh my God, how can we wish to lose everything? We wish to get everything. But spirituality about losing everything. Let me be clear about what I mean. Okay, uh, in a very Hindu tradition, we have such a, okay, God, Shiva. And of course, some of you may think about Shiva as a certain person who lives in Himalayas. Who knows, maybe that's the true um, approach. But anyway, uh, for sure, Shiva is a symbol. Symbol like the first guru, the perfect yogi, perfect meditation practitioner, Shiva. And many people know, I'm sure you too, that she was actually destroying everything. And let us be <coughs> clear what exactly Shiva destroying. Okay, by the way, just just here I have a wonderful Shiva statue. Maybe later on I'll show it to you. Dancing Shiva. What does it mean, dancing Shiva? Dancing Shiva is the Shiva who is destroying everything. But let us be clear about what exactly Shiva is destroying. So, I can't, okay, I'm not sure, but let me try to show it to you. Okay, this is dancing Shiva. Well, this, this, now you can see much better dancing Shiva, so the dance of uh, destruction. First of all, Shiva is not destroying your bank account. Stay in peace. Shiva is not destroying your health, family life, your social achievements. That's not the problem, guys. You can be rich, you can be, you know, be happy in your, your family life, be healthy. That's not the problem for Shiva. For Shiva, problem is our ignorance. Our, then listen carefully, wrong self-identification. That's a key word. Key word for Shiva. Wrong self-identification. The question is who you are. That's the question for Shiva, for Buddha, and by the way, for Jesus as well. Who you are. Most of us, a modern clever people <laughs> we know everything but our inner spiritual experience unfortunately almost very poor we know intellectually many things and if i ask you who you are i'm sure immediately you will tell i'm consciousness come on come on that's intellectual game are you sure that this is your actual experience. Your actual experience is, is actually <laughs> the main question. We know that mm, the proper answer goes like that. 
okay i am not physical body i am not my thoughts i am not my uh, emotions i am not a male or female okay i am not a um, christian i am not hindu i am not buddha i am not even uh, my personality i am absolute consciousness that what we know because we are clever people but the question is how to experience it because are you sure that this is your actual spiritual mystical experience if yes that's okay but i'm not sure that everyone may say really that this is the situation you speak about okay that you are consciousness but your moment to moment experiences that okay i'm physical body i'm part of this society i'm citizen etc okay meditation this is the tool which step by step leads any practitioner to the actual experience of absolute consciousness of course meditation is a great tool but you have to work you have to use this tool you have to practice yourself <coughs> daily and then step by step you may experience okay meditation that's the tool we speak about shiva as a mythological um, like symbolical well um, the guy who is the perfect meditation practitioner well what does it mean like this stage of this idol dancing shiva destruction complete destruction okay wrong self identification as the body as the mind as my memory as my okay emotional stuff and finally wrong self identification with the personality shiva destroying everything and whatever is impossible to destroy that exactly your reality absolute consciousness light bliss consciousness never born never die not possible to create not possible to destroy and that's actually your reality it means whatever we can destroy that's illusion it means today we have it enjoy it tomorrow it's gone and this absolute consciousness is not possible to destroy it. it's impersonal it's pure light it's absolute bliss and that's impossible to destroy and that's your reality and let us come back to the beginning of our discussion that the social life teach us that more toys better but spirituality actually when you are losing the main main problems you are losing <clears throat> not your health not your money not your family but wrong concepts wrong ideas wrong thoughts and emotions finally that's about wrong self identification they are losing it. just they just disappear it means when you come to the field of spirituality you have to be ready to change your approach to life and stop to think in such a way that okay i wish more stuff just stop it. because if you continue this approach then it's going to be not spirituality at all okay you can get more knowledge you can visit more ashrams you can learn more mantras more scriptures more meditation techniques and you will think that you are really great yogi because you know everything you you learn all vedic philosophy buddhist philosophy kabbalah sufi philosophy you know everything but now 
inner mystical experience and inner mystical experience actually actual experience of that absolute consciousness true reality of your being is a result of meditation the meditation is just losing everything okay and what is remain is absolute consciousness okay let me complete this video for today and of course in the end as usually i invite you to watch my videos on okay self-development meditation kriya yoga tradition himalayan masters including mahavatar babaji goraknath babaji other immortal masters we are speaking about chakras lucid dream reincarnation so i invite you to watch my videos in internet so god bless you see you next time